Welcome Sunny community. You may not know me yet, but I am your coach, Sam Candler, one of your Sunny trainers here. And look, now we know each other. So if you're not familiar with our content, we have incredible strength classes, conditioning classes, and more on our YouTube channel. And we release new ones every single week. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you stay up to date with all of our latest. Now, are you ready to get into our total body kettlebell strength workout? I'm so excited about this one. This is exactly how I train at home and it just feels so good to be able to bring this right to you at home. So we're going to start off with our warm up, and then we're going to get into our kettlebell workout. We'll have two circuits, three rounds, three on each one. We are going to be up, we are going to be down and everywhere in between. This does assume that you have some knowledge of how to use kettlebells. So this means you know how to do a swing and you know how to do a clean amongst other things. Now, assuming we're all good to go, have your kettlebells ready, a little water, a towel. Um, clear wrists is important because we're gonna have the kettlebell on the side of them. I actually took off my rings for this too and then flat shoes or maybe even no shoes at all. We're good to go. We're going to get started with some inchworm push-ups. I do these a lot because they're good. We're gonna reach down, touch your toes, walk out. That's it, one good nice push-up. And then we're gonna walk your hands back. Maybe you can keep your legs straight the whole time. Maybe they need to bend. Either way, it's really not a big deal. We're just gonna walk those hands out. Another push up. Take it back. Let's do one more. So we're getting a little stretch of the hamstrings in, a little heat in the upper body. That's good. Then we're going to go into a deep squat to forward fold. So this is a mobility exercise here. So we're going to inhale and draw ourselves down into a really deep squat. Lower than you probably would with weights on you. That's okay. Here, we're just gonna shift around for a moment. So I've got my elbows pushing out into my knees. That's it, I'm just rocking side to side, creating a little space in my hips. Now, I'm gonna put my hands either on the ground or underneath my toes. Like I'm not gonna step down on them. They're just here for a point to stay. And then I'm gonna reach up and stretch all the way into a forward fold. Legs going mostly straight if they can. Then I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna come down again. I'm just gonna rock side to side here, mobilize. That's it, reach up into that forward fold. A Little more length of those hamstrings again. And then last time, just hanging out here. Rocking and rolling and feeling good. Every time it gets a little bit easier. We're lifting our chest. That's it, and here you can even just let your head fall. All right, then we're going to do some light strength work just to get us ready for the heavier strength work we're going to do. So sometimes the best way to get you warmed up for what you're gonna do is to do light versions of the exercises in your workout. So it sounds pretty simple, and that's because it is, and there's beauty in that simplicity. All right, so we're going to take a light bell and I want to go down onto both knees here. This is called a tall kneeling position. You can have your back feet, uh, toes tucked under or they can be back out. We're gonna bring the kettlebell with a clean right up here and then we're going to do here just five overhead presses each side. Core stays really nice and engaged. This should be light. You've chosen a weight that is lighter than what you'll do in our workout. That's it, we're going to exhale. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. That's it, when we do this right, it's not just an upper body motion, it's a total body movement. Well, a total body exercise. Granted, the only thing that is moving is that arm, right? That's it, but I've got my glutes engaged, I've got my abs engaged. Just getting a little bit of heat in those shoulders, good. I'm gonna bring it down, now I'm gonna do three each side just because I want them really warm. Shoulders get hurt easily. They take a long time to heal. And so we're going to be prepared. We're gonna be ahead of that by spending our time really getting the body ready for work. All right, and now we're gonna drop down to just one each side. It's our final one here. That's it. And our final one here. Okay. We're gonna put this light one aside and we're gonna go with something a little bit heavier. And we're going to do deadlifts and then kettlebell swings. You know how to deadlift. 
We've got the kettlebell right here in between your ankle bones. Let's make these good. We're here for 10. Just because it's a lighter version doesn't mean it's uh, any less tension in your body. These should not be sloppy. I want you to pretend that this is one heck of a heavy deadlift. Here we go. We're gonna get three more reps in here. We're just still warming up. One more rep. Okay, and then we're going to go into kettlebell swings. 10 swings here. Again, I mentioned that this isn't a course in teaching you how to do those swings. So you're here because you have an understanding of how to do them. However, I will still give a couple of form cues. One is at the top, you need to be nice and tight here. Arms mostly straight right out in front of your chest. Core engaged, hips right here with you, not arching the back. Two is wait for that kettlebell to get down to your hips before you send them back. A lot of times we pull back, I'm very guilty of this, we pull back too soon. So wait for that kettlebell. The kettlebell is gonna start just a little bit in front of you, about a foot width. Let's go, we've got 10. That's it, nice big pop of the hips. Seven. Nine. 10. Okay, we're warm, we're ready. Here's what's gonna happen. We're going to do 10 single arm deadlifts on the right. You're thinking, didn't we just do that? No, we just did single kettlebell deadlifts on the right, on the, um, both sides, but this is just gonna be on the right. So you're gonna hold your kettlebell here, you're reaching down, and then this is our single arm on the right deadlift. Notice I've got tension in my other arm. If I don't, I'm gonna be sideways like this, and I don't wanna be sideways. These are harder than they look. 10 of those. Then we're gonna do one clean into five overhead presses, got it? Then we'll go into the other side. Three rounds of that, right, left, right, left, right, left. After that, we'll take a moment to breathe. We'll talk about circuit two. Are we ready? We are not going to rush. We're also not gonna be taking any breaks. We're gonna find that happy balance. So we are starting with 10 deadlifts on the right. Let's go. That's it, deadlifts are a hip hinge. They are not a squat. My hips are going way back. I'll show you on the other side when we get to those. That's it, notice here that my body is staying level. I'm not rotating at the shoulder. All right, that's my 10. If you need to switch weights for your press, go for it. Total body tension, just like we did in the tall kneeling. That's it. Presses are not for the faint of heart. These are hard. That's it, good. If you are making all cute faces when you work out, you're probably not working hard enough. Some kind of gnarly faces need to be made when we're really pushing. Let's go. On the left, 10. I promised you a side view. Got nine more reps to show you. That's it. I've got one more. All right, let's turn and face you again. One clean. Here we go, it's a little tougher for me on the left. Tougher just means I'm gonna have to engage more. Be sharper with my form. You might notice I'm using my right arm as a little bit of a trigger arm. Good, creating tension as I press up to help me. Okay, ready? That's round one. Round two, let's go. No rest here. We just move. There'll be a rest after the third set. Shoulders are back and down. Once you get to 10, Here's my 10th, one clean, five presses. That's it, breathe. It might not sound pretty. We're not here to be pretty. We're here to be strong. Other side, strong is beautiful. 
strong is sexy. Strong is for men, strong is for women. Strong is for everybody. That's it. How's that shoulder pack down your back? Okay, clean. That's it. Drive the arm straight up to the ceiling. Reach your thumb towards the ceiling. That'll help you get your arm a little bit straighter. Whew. All right, a little shake out. No time for rest, here we go, last round. We are getting some serious work in. Here we go, keep the tension. There's no time to get sloppy. This is when we need our form extra good as we get more tired. Okay, last five on this side. Whew. How are the abs? How are the glutes? Here we go. All right, let's go left. This is our last set of deadlifts and presses. Stay with me. We're not speeding. We're just moving in a good rhythmic controlled fashion. That's 10. Clean. Here we go, last five. How are those abs? How are those glutes? Engaging your glutes will help. All right. Good work, squad. I love this feeling. And I heard this great documentary about, it's really about runners as they're getting older. People who've taken up running in their older age, maybe people who started running young and have continued. And, but it applies to all, all of us athletes. And if you are here doing this, you're an athlete. Those of us who move our bodies and use them for strength and speed and health, we're athletes. One of the things they said in this is they had one of, one of the people they interviewed said, well, the way I see it is all my friends are sore and achy all the time. So if I'm gonna be sore and achy, it's gonna be because I made myself that way. And I think it's so cool. If I'm gonna be out of breath, it's not because I'm out of shape and had trouble walking up the stairs. It's because I made it that way. All right. Let me just step off my soapbox and back into the ring. Two exercises that you need to know for this one. We have 10 rows on our right arm right into five offset push-ups. We're gonna stand up to 10 rows on the left and then five offset push-ups. Again, we are doing these for three rounds. Um, so here's how it looks. Your row is gonna look like this, my right arm row. I'm right here. I like being in the long lunge. If you wanna be in this position, that's totally fine by me. Then we're gonna just step back into your offset push-up. That means we've got one hand on the kettlebell one hand on the floor. If you do not feel comfortable, like you're maybe the, your floor isn't as sturdy or you're just a little worried, you can lay the kettlebell on its side until you start to feel comfortable enough to bring the kettlebell higher. All right, right arm, left arm, three rounds, and then we stretch. So it's a lot to get through before that stretch, but at least we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Right side, three, two, and one, let's go. 10 reps. We're driving our shoulder blade across our body. That's it, we're not bending the wrist. We're static with our lower body. There's 10. All right, step back. Five good strong push-ups. Blow the floor away. Lift with your belly button first. All right, stand up. No need to jump up. No need for theatrics here. Just regular solid movement. Let's go. Left for 10. It is very typical of my programming 
to have twice as much pull work as push work. So rows are pull, push-ups, go figure, or push. That's it, stay steady here. Both arms don't have to get straight at the top, just your one on the ground. Okay, now, similar thing on that push-pull ratio, deadlifts are pull exercise, overhead presses are push, we did twice as many deadlifts as push. All right, anyway, back to our rows. Right arm, 10 reps. You should be feeling a little tired right now. I am. There's 10. All right, push-ups. Remember, you have that option to lay the kettlebell on its side. But I would like for you over time to work on having the stability to do them this way. Okay. Woo. We're, we're doing this, aren't we? Yeah. Why do I do this to myself? It's because I love it. And I love sharing this with you, sharing strength and speed in my treadmill classes. Just. I really like working out with you guys. That's probably 10. Here we go. Whew. Okay. This is getting spicy. But I can handle the heat. So can you. Ready, last round? 10 rows. The rows are nice. That's it. You know, the lats are already a little spiced up from the deadlifts. All right. Last set of push ups on this arm. Come on, lefty, let's go. Core is tight. Okay, I'm really glad that's done on that side. I don't want any more. But this is how you can handle the row. That's it, are you with me? How's your form? Two more for me. Last five push-ups. Let's get them done, there's one, two, Three, four, five, with a fight. We did it. Good old trusty bell. We did it, grab some water, towel off if we need. We're gonna spend just a couple minutes stretching. Dude, that was awesome. I love this raw, gritty strength work with you. How? We're gonna lay down, which should be like a beautiful melody to your ears. We're gonna lay down here. We're just gonna hug both knees in and we're gonna rock for a moment side to side. Just gentle, that's it. We're gonna put our feet down, knees are up. We're gonna cross our right knee tightly over our left knee and then we're gonna take both knees to the left. So that crossing of the knees kind of serves as like a little anchor, pulling down. Open your right arm out to the right, look over your right shoulder, that's it. I'm using my left arm to create length in my top thigh, my right thigh. I'm just kind of pulling, like I'm trying to make my femur longer. I know they seem long enough, but what's a little more length? Left side crosses tightly over right, that's it. Now, I should be looking over my left shoulder and I hope that you are, but I just wanna look at you here. Tell you, I'm really proud of you for showing up for strength. Sometimes this is the harder stuff, the stuff where you really have to focus, right? On the right form, on your technique, on even counting your reps, 
right? I know it sounds funny, but a lot of times we don't have to worry about that when we're in classes. But you came up here and you did the hard stuff. I'm so, so proud of you. We're going to stretch out our hamstrings and our hip flexors here. So I'm gonna put a little towel underneath my left knee here. It just likes it. I'm gonna step my right foot a little extra forward. So my knee is like, I'm not totally stacked up here. It's just a little bit extra. I'm gonna squeeze that glute, reach my left arm up and over. This is stretching that hip flexor all the way through that left side. Then I'm just gonna kick that right leg forward, pull my hips back. I got a good old hamstring stretch. I love my hamstring stretches. Whew. All right. Right side can get the little towel too. Nice big step forward. Squeeze that glute. Right arm up. Reach, create length. Isn't that fun? I mean, like it wasn't, but it was, you know? Like it was awful, but awesome. It can be two things at once. Hard work while we do it and well worth it when we are done. Sunny, awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm your trainer, Sam Candler, and I've loved having you here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for updates. And of course, leave comments and let me know how you did. I can't wait to see you next time.